Hey everyone, I'm Ultimate 456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 18 of Let's Platinum Evil Land Legendary Edition. Alright, so now that we've got two keys to the sewers, we'll unlock these two doors and we'll be able to continue. And yay, we found our way out. Oh, but there's somewhere else that we can go. But not quite yet because we don't have the key. So let's go up here. It looks like we've reached the town of well actually they haven't told us yet. <laughs> ah Finally, we're in the open air. Hmm, it even smells like cake out here. Come to think of it, I've hardly had a bite to eat since we started. What was supposed to be a quick stroll. That cake smell makes my tummy rumble, Koro. Aren't you hungry too? Yes, I am. Well, actually, I'm not hungry, but <laughs> Koro might be. Great, then let's find an inn I could eat a horse. I too would be amenable to a little rest. But we should say discreet. <laughs> The city gates are closed due to the war. We shall have to devise a plan to get us out of this bind. An inn would certainly be a good place to obtain information. My people are more at risk with each hour we waste. That settles it then. We're gonna eat. The body needs strength in order to fight. Can't you just say that you're hungry, Menos? I... I am hungry. <laughs> Ah, there we go. You just have to be honest about your feelings and life immediately gets easier. If we're going to continue this adventure together, we have to be honest with each other. Right, Kuro? Let's go. I'm hungry, Mega Clink. <laughs> Let us gather our strength and find information. He doesn't call us Kuro, he calls us by our battle name. Alright, let's start talking to people. I know, we I know we don't have much money, but my mommy works hard to have enough to take me to see the fights at the Colosseum. My mommy is super cool. Who's your favourite fighter? I'm so scared of Menas the Exterminator. Uh, oh, maybe that's what it is. Dex Terminator. But why D? Hmm. Like, to remove D? Like D-E? Dex Terminator? So he Dex Terminates him, I guess. <laughs> I get nightmares sometimes, but don't tell my mommy, okay? She wouldn't want to take me to the Colosseum no more. <laughs> My son just loves the Colosseum. I wish he were more interested in the hard facts of life, like doing housework, cooking, working to survive. But he'll have time to learn about that when he when he's all grown up. Better let him dream for now. <laughs> Isn't that a sad reality? Um, let me just have a quick look at my guide here. Why did I... I uh, scrolled all the way down because I was changing a few things. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Uh, okay, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go around and talk to everyone in town and just get, you know, do the standard RPG thing, talk to everyone. <laughs> I think we'll get a trophy soon uh, for talking to 50 NPCs if we haven't got it already. Honestly, young man, I find it quite presumptu presumptuous of you to speak to me that way. You know that I am destined to inherit my parents' fortune, therefore I hardly have time to waste speaking with people of your ilk. Rude. What about you? At times, I wonder if being rich is not not a kind of servitude. In any case, it brings me many woes. Would I make the same choices if I had to do it all, all over again? Oh, I would certainly correct some mistakes. I would no doubt be even richer then. <laughs> My mom and dad, they're really, really rich. Oh, really, really, really rich. Uh, that kind of makes me a princess, right? I'm gonna ask for a pony for my birthday. And also five new dolls. Whenever I start crying, they give me whatever I want, anyway. Hmm, okay. I hate my family. They're snobs who climb the social ladder on the back of big business. All they do is exploit people by stealing the, the added value of their hard lab labor. One day when I grow up, I'll be a revolutionary. Or maybe I'll travel around the world. I haven't really decided yet. Ethics, a matter of perspective by Professor Friedman. Uh, I don't know who Friedman is. I'm guessing it's someone who in real life was to do with ethics or something like that. Uh, um, why not? Honestly, Maria, I've told you a hundred times never to combine pink and blue sheets that way. My poor girl, you have no artistic sense about you. This is very upsetting. What in the world do you do all day besides housework? Better yourself, uh, better yourself, will you? Try immersing yourself in art. Although I doubt you would be receptive to it. <laughs> and there you get a little hair flick. Some... Socks that smell awful ripe. Bleh. 
The missus is very demanding when it comes to colours. I admit, I don't well understand what she wants. Surely it's because I don't know anything about art. Uh, a set of bolts, nuts, screws and diagrams for Ikeo furniture, so Ikea. Why on earth would they keep that stuff? <laughs> Hundreds of plastic toys. What's the point? All you need is one game console. <laughs> did I check this one? I didn't check this one, did I? You got one gold. Better than nothing. And I can't check that chest yet. Is there anything in here? How to spend your money when you have too much by Bill G. Bill Gates, pretty sure. He's got it all figured out. Pretty sure Bill Gates gives like a lot of his money to charity, so... That's good. A lovely collection of bathrobes from a number of luxury hotels. How to get richer by making other people poorer by... Morstan Ganley. Hmm. I don't know what that one is either. I don't even remember reading that one. I think I must have missed it. A 64-piece tea set. Too expensive to use every day. It's brand new. I don't know that Morstan Ganley one. Oh well. Let's continue. What does this guy say? Move along. City gates are closed until further notice. Okay, you say the same thing. And just in case I thought they were lying. Yes, we can't exit. What's in here? Be a millionaire. Play and win. Open 10pm to 4am. Hmm, very late hours. Okay, so we can't do it, okay. <laughs> My chickens ran away and now they've strayed all across the city. What, you want to help me round, round them up? F so, sure. No way. What? Last time I did that, I trusted a kid all dressed in green who just screwed around. He even used my chickens to fly off the ground. Bunch of nonsense, really. My poor hens were traumatized for weeks. Uh, I'll take care of this myself. <laughs> so I guess it's a reference to... It's a link. You can... Y you can run into them to make them do the whole cuckoo sound. Um... Attacking them doesn't seem to have any effect. Um, and I also don't know if, uh... If... Like, running into them actually causes anything negative to happen. Um, uh, one other thing is, this guy, he's blocking the entrance to his house. Um, it would be really cool if we could get in there, because, um... Oh, well, actually, no, there's nothing... Nothing huge worth it, but... It would be really cool if we can get in there. It's a very hard section where, like... The enemies do a crap... Like, a crazy amount of damage. Um, to you, but we can only access that much later in the game, so we'll leave it for now. Ever since the war started, my brother has had malicious thoughts. I'm positive those wretched sorcerers are behind all this. Why did the Emperor call on them to battle the demons? Colonel Dolkin. Colonel Dolkin and our soldiers could certainly deal with it by themselves. Hey, they should send the lieutenants too while we're at it. <laughs> this one's funny. Um, the thing, the building that we're going to go into in a moment. My fiance went off to Mayan or Mayan Bridge to fight those awful demons. I'm so worried about him. What if he comes back disfigured with a scar across his beautiful face? <laughs> I like how they talk like about demons and menos as like in the party. Hmm, what's this place? Today's menu. Starter, crunchy salad topped with six legged critters. Main dish, small rat stewed in its own dubious uh, juices. And dessert, dessert, cook hair pie. Today's special. Beef cartilage big wok with a side of rot proof fries. Enjoy your meal. Oh my god. Um, uh, what is it? If, yeah, you know, this actually reminds, I guess, you know, I'll say this because um, there's a chance, yeah, and I guess I get to post it in the, post a link in the description. This um, menu reminds me of, um, Jeez, I'll quickly go into it. So, Philip DeFranco in like 2011 created a, another channel called SourceFed and um, there were a bunch of like young, really talented people who just uh, delivered news in like a funny and hilarious way and they did this whole bunch of things and they had this show called Table Talk where they would literally sit around a table and talk and they had an episode and I think it was called You're Not Ready for This Table Talk and basically the whole episode was just one of the guys, um, he looked up uh, a menu with like the most ridiculous like it was a fake menu for a restaurant and it was just each item was so hilarious and they just had the funniest time reading the whole thing and it's one of the best best episodes ever and I think it was called you're not ready for this table talk and it, this thing here reminded me of it I'm gonna post the link in the description because it's like 20 or 30 minutes of like the funniest thing you'll ever see at least it was for me yeah, yeah. you might have to be like in a certain mood for it and like in a good mood for it but 
it was hilarious for me, so I'll, I'll post that um, in the description. Uh, welcome to Wok Donalds. <laughs> Wok Donalds. <laughs> oh, hey, I even mentioned McDonalds. Oh, in the previous episode, but anyway. We haven't started serving food yet. Stop by later. All right. Looks like we're too early for Wok Donalds. What's in this one? <laughs> um, okay. I'm so proud of my little Dolkin. He always had such a keen sense of justice, and now he's an important man. I just hope war doesn't change him, and that he'll always be my sweet little boy. Okay, so in this house, well, we find 5G. Ha, huh, 5G, I wish I, I wish I could have 5G. Anyway, um, in this house we find what appears to be Dolkin's mother, I guess. It could even potentially be her, his grandmother. It's like this woman has got grey hair, so she could be like over 50. Um, and yeah, so it's Dolkin's mother or grandmother and Dolkin is a kid because um, we've since learnt, uh, we're going to skip the inn at the moment, we've since learnt that, um, are we going? Yeah, I went in there. Oh no, I didn't. Um, yeah, we've since learnt that we're in a different time period um, and from what we can tell based on our like design and like the looks of the game, we're in the past and uh, Dolkin is a child. Which is weird because like when you think about it, when we find out a little bit more, I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, not not the fact that he's a child, but the age and how the, the years work and everything. Life is tough enough as it is. Then war has to come and ruin my business opportunities. Anyway, I hope I hope we'll uh, I hope we'll get at least a little damage around these parts. Always go, always good for business. Damage mine damage mine in particular. Heh 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 heh. Insurance fraud, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure that's insurance fraud, right? It's when you like pay for insurance and you purposely damage your own stuff so you can get a big payout. How does that work anyway? It's like you... Oh, okay, I got to 50, 50 NPCs. How does that work? It's like you, you pay... You have something really expensive and you want to insure it, but you don't insure it for the amount that you get back... Um, you don't insure it for the amount that you get back if it, something were to happen, right? You you provide like a cover amount. Like I know that like because of my job, when I have to do insurance, I put like a uh, it's like a certain percentage of it. So it's like if you put a hundred dollars, you actually you'll get like a thousand dollars worth of stuff back. It's something like that, right? You put a smaller amount so that you can get a bigger return. Because then what would be the point of insuring for the same amount of money? <laughs> Um, so I guess it's something like that. I've never had to really do it like in my own life. So yeah, not old enough yet, I guess <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the Genova orphanage. We take care of all the children who've lost their parents to the war and other disasters It's a constant commitment every day and every hour and unfortunately every minute too That's sad The red-haired girl is very kind. Yes. Yes. Ask her. We have great fun together I'm a sweet girl, right? Huh? Yes. What? I can't hear you Say I'm sweet, say it. What if we say no? Wait a minute, I'll get you for this. Okay, and say yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, see how, how things have no consequence, choices have no consequence. I wonder if that relates into the story somehow. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to pee soon. Okay, uh, TMI. Um, not for a kid really though, <laughs> it's kind of important that we know that. Um, I'm hungry, when do we eat? I'm tired, when do we sleep? <laughs> no. Um, I'm bored. Want to play a game? Okay, nothing, nothing. Oh, oh, okay. That is interesting. I did not know you could get money from the side. Uh, I'm also pretty sure, I mean, I guess someone can confirm in the comments if you're following along. I'm also pretty sure that the amount of G that you get will be less than 10, like or 10 or less, I should say, but I think it's uh, random. So for example, like I got six here, but you might get like two or eight or something like that. So I think it's something like that. Um, I'm resting for a second. Oh, I do hope they leave me alone. <laughs> the kids, yeah. Well, why would you work in an orphanage if you don't? I guess maybe you just have to work. Um, okay. Three. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks like a bucket of water. I don't know what this button does. <laughs> Um, okay, lots of money. Welcome to Razz's. What would you like to buy? Okay, so we want to buy a few things here. We want to buy a tea. I don't know if I should buy the sugar, because you technically... 
Yeah, why not? Let's try it. This, this sugar you actually don't need to buy, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna try and use it because I've learned a little bit about it and I guess it's worth it because it only take an, like an extra second and I'll try and like, you know, give as much information about the game, at least for what I know. I thought the sugar you had to give to children in the game, but apparently that's not the case. Whiskey. I thought that whiskey you had to give to children in the game, but apparently that's not the case. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so buy a, t a tea, a sugar, and a whiskey. In terms of weapons, uh, he actually said that they've been requisitioned. Uh, all the weapons and pieces of armor have been requisitioned for the war. I like that word, requisitioned. <laughs> Damn it, I should have said, uh, I should have said, I'd like the word, back. <laughs> Come back and see us when it's over. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. <laughs> it's okay, I explained, I explained the joke that I was going to make. That makes it more funny, right? <laughs> All right, um, what's this one? I keep watch in front of the jail. Apparently a prisoner got out. The lieutenants are all worked up about it. I wouldn't want to be a lieutenant. All that responsibility stuff, it's not my thing. I'm with you, mate. <laughs> but then again, I hate not being in charge at the same time, so. Uh, it's a fine line between pleasure and pain. Am I right, guys? I'm um, all right. <laughs> um, a prisoner escaped the jail. Yeah, that was me. We sounded the alarm. Everyone's looking for him. I still don't know how he managed to dig such a long tunnel. No one is allowed in or out of the jail for the time being. Lieutenant's orders. Order. Uh, what a pain. Stuck here while I'm supposed to be on a date with a waitress from the inn. If I catch that prisoner, I'm sure gonna dig him a tunnel. What? <laughs> ah, so this leads into the pr prison. I wonder if you can get back in there, because... I feel like the prison is an area that you can't get back, but I've been told that there's nothing missable in this game. I should have mentioned that a little bit sooner. Apparently there's nothing missable in this game, so maybe you can access that later, or potentially after you finish the game. We'll see. I joined the, fo uh, the force to follow Colonel Dolgan. He's my hero, a real soldier, and all the troops love him. Did it? Wait, let me just read that again. Yeah, he's my hero, a real soldier, and all the troops love him. It's a shame that in Genova, the army's led by I by more by the lieutenants, I mean. <laughs> Idiots, morons, lieutenants. Stupidity is like money. The more you have, the more you show it off. Don't go saying that to the lieutenants, though. They might take it the wrong way. Then again, why would they think it was about them, huh? Just saying. <laughs> I like that line. Um, access to the outer walls is forbidden during wartime. Even the pigeons will have to learn to defecate elsewhere. Anyway, that's what the lieutenant is trying to teach them. We're all wishing him the best of luck. <laughs> you can't enter here, either. Uh, soldiers aren't always very discriminating, but lieutenants are a whole other breed. We do this for the money, but they love their job. That's nuts, right? But hey, don't go around repeating it, alright? I, I could have level 99 problems. <laughs> level 99 problems. Um, the lieutenants make our lives miserable. They sometimes give orders that don't make any sense. Here, for example, I'm on the lookout for an approaching storm. That's right, indoors. No point in trying to make sense of them, orders are orders. <laughs> quite funny like it, it's it's subtle but it is pretty funny uh, I have to look for the lieutenant's glasses in this crate yes I can see they're not there but he quote unquote left them here orders are orders so I'm searching whatever soldiering here is a kind of crash course in life skills you can tolerate all the idiocy in the world after this or of course you just go mad heh <laughs> someone recently told me that um, Trying to find your glasses is like doubly unfair because you need your glasses to search for your glasses. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever. Um, only if you're hyperopic. I think if you're myopic, you can. Oh, uh, well, even if you're my. Actually, it could be worse with myo myopia. Myopia is you can't see far away, and hyperopia is you can't see up close. Uh, young people tend to have myopia. Uh, or young uh, people who require glasses, uh, the younger they are, the more chance that they're myopic. If you require glasses at an older age, there's a higher chance that you're hyperopic. But um, yeah, I'm myopic, so I, I can't see far away, but my up-close vision is really good. Um, I don't think our beloved emperor really wanted to go to war with the demons. After all, he had good relations with them. Um, so why this war? Why now? What? I don't think our beloved emperor, so Lothar, wanted to go to war with the demons because they had good relations, so why the war? Hmm, okay, so there was a war between humans and demons. Um, if we think back to the intro, they said that the war occurred in 950. So there's a good chance that that's what time 
we're in 950 the year 950 so the humans and the demons had a good relationship but for some reason we're at war hmm so we'll keep that in mind i'm going to try my best to kind of like explain the story as i go because um reading all the all the dialogue will help me like process it a little bit more so i think that's where we're at let's look to this guy darn it the sorcerers have requisitioned the library again since they moved into the city it's been barely accessible i do wonder what they're searching for in there Regardless, regardless, all this time I've been kept from reading the next installment of the Pirate Roberts adventure series. Okay, what about these guys? Okay, ellipses, ellipses, the door is closed. I'm gonna end in a moment here. Do you know Professor... how should I pronounce this? I'd pronounce it like Gyro, but I've been pronouncing it Jiro, so... Do you know Professor Jiro? He's the greatest inventor the Empire's ever known. Rumor has it his top secret lab is somewhere in the mountains. That reminds me of a different Professor Jiro. <laughs> Long live the Empire! Long live Emperor Lothar! Okay, I think that's a good amount uh, for today. We're already at 21 minutes, so it's a good place to stop. Next time, we're going to go into the inn where we will be able to continue the story from here. Alright, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 18 of Let's Platinum Evil... Damn it. <laughs> I hit the table, sorry. Uh, of Les Platinum Everland Legendary Edition. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.